I guess I'm back. I really want to get that, uh, that, that, that giant squid eye real quick. Uh, I forget what it's called. Uh, there is the alpha blah 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 eye. Okay, let's grab that. I guess we can grab some oil as well as that fishing rod. And I guess, uh, every oh yeah, look at that. I can still move. And I guess, oh my god, look at my- How's my T-Rex glitch like that? Can I- I can't even get out of that. Okay, whatever. Can I go off here? Can I fall off this cliff? There you go. Sheesh, what in the- in the even- <laughs> It's got my alpha woolly rhino, man! Everything is getting stuck over here, man! Okay, anyways, let's go back inside. We will have a wall mount, uh, wall trophy mount already. I guess we just replace the, uh, I guess it's like a dragon or a drake head or something. Already, yeah, it looks like a drake head. Just replace that with, I guess, this giant squid eye, this, this, this kraken eye, this eye of the kraken, if you will. So, I guess put that there, there, boom, uh, oh wait, can you not put it, uh, hold the phone? Prove your worth as a hunter. Uh, so uh, can I... Hold on, uh, does it go here into this instead? Because I also saw that a uh, Tusa... Oh. Did it... Oh, wait, what? It's... Um, hold on. Uh... Trophy... Yeah, it says it's a trophy. But I guess I can't put it on the trophy wall mount, or...? Yeah, it, it just straight up does not- it lets me put the, uh, the, that on the wall mount. Do you guys know if you can put the giant squid eye on the wall? Or, uh, I don't- I guess not, huh? Oh, well, it's not letting me. I'm- I'm dragging and dropping. Huh, well, that kind of sucks. Anyways, let's, let's see how much- how many black pearls we have here. If I need more, of course, I can just go kill another boss or two, just casually, right? <laughs> like it's nothing. Let's go put some more, uh, black pearls over here. So, black pearl we have 129 black pearls. Uh, yeah, we have 129 there. We can always, uh, resource bowl black pearls, I assume, from our other critters. They may already have them inside of it. Yeah, do we just have 112? Oh, whoops. Okay, I didn't actually pull anything there. That's good. Um, absorbent substrate. I think I'm going to put that inside of there. I don't know what it's for. Uh, oil. I guess I could put that over here. I guess, I guess squid oil is kind of like, uh, regular oil, so I guess it don't really matter, right? And is there anything else? Oh, yeah, we still have that squid thing, and we have a fishing rod, which I never saw what that looked like. Let's, can I, uh, hold on. How do I equip this? I guess I can't equip it? Attachment, generic resource, durability, effectiveness, 100, almost 200% effectiveness, not bad. Alright, well, I don't know what to do with this eye. I, I, I guess I'll put this eye in the Iron Lucky Workbench, just because I have other, like, trophies and stuff there anyways. I guess I'll put the fishing rod up there as well. And I guess I'm going to go get on my Poison BH rank, and uh, we can head, hold on. Yeah, let me real quick, let me get on my Megapithecus, get on the Dodorexy. Black per. yeah, nothing there. Just, just seeing if there's any black pearls that I might be missing. And, uh, of course, I'm going to go get on my, uh, Poison BA, uh, Drake. Fly over to the Onanaka Workbench. Yeah, we don't have any on, on any of our bosses, so that's, that's unfortunate. Whatever. Anyways, because I'm going to get rid of this traffic jam that's under here with the, uh, T-Rex as well as the Alpha Woolly Rhino. Let's get you guys out of there, hopefully. Can you guys get out of there? Woolly Rhino's kind of stuck. Oh, oh, there you go. Okay, they're both free now. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Let's try and get the, uh... Whoops, just punched him. Let's get on our, uh, Poison BA Drake. Let's go fly over to the on Michael Blink Bench, which I think we saw, like, 180-ish, maybe 150-ish, uh, things. I don't know if that's enough, but I guess there's only one way to find out, right? We just have to go try. So let's go grab our Blank Pearls, and I guess I'll pause the recording and fly back to the, uh, Trench. Mariana Trench, or whatever that is. Yeah, 129 Blank Pearls. That's not that bad. She'll be able to access my Drake's inventory here in a second, though, right? Yeah, I cannot move, and ba-boom! He has the Blank Pearls in his inventory, perfect. Uh, what do we want to give him before we go, though? He does have a level up. We could give him... Uh, let's give him some health. There you go, he broke through 30,000 health points. Nice! Anyways, go to Bowser recording, head back to the trench all the way over there. Uh, I do have the crossbow and the lance, so I don't know... If, like, if it does get knocked out, I should be able to keep it knocked out with the lance and all that stuff, but I think whenever we're underwater and I dismount from my drake, it's going to just float up to the surface, so that's going to be really, really tricky for us if we do uh, fail. We're probably going to die down there as well. That's going to be really, really bad, so going to pause the recording. Maybe I'll keep all my important stuff in my drake's inventory. It's going to be hard for him to die anyways, right? Going to pause the recording, head back to the trench over there, and I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit, and we can try and tame a... I almost called a snail... 
for your time trying to aim a giant squid. I guess back, and uh, I, I was thinking, you know, I was flying with my my, my BA poison drink, and I saw that the uh, the brew mother was kind of close. The brew mother we've been kind of putting off for like 10, 15, 20, 30 episodes, saying, hey, we should probably tame it. It's pretty high level. It's like, what, level 2 something? 230 or something like that, maybe? 217. Ooh, hold on, hold on. 217. Let me go over here, because usually, you know, a bunch of bosses spawn in this area. Let me check. Yeah, there's another brood mother right there. What level is that one? I just kind of want to get the highest level. Okay, level. Oh, that one's okay. That one's only level 80. Whew. We should probably go tame that or uh, kill that one. Try and get some more black pearls, because right now we have 129, which means. God, I don't. Oh my god, there's two brood mothers, like, right next to each other right there. What the. That was level 197, that one's level 70. Okay, we should probably come over here with our donor, actually, or something, or maybe with our brand new tamed, uh, Brute Mother. If we try, try and tame that one over there, get a good taming bonus, give it a... What, did we give, uh, did we already use that large experience? Uh, nope, it's still right there. I guess we can give that to her as well. Get into Hane stats. Stats that should be illegal, because she's probably going to be like level 400 baseline or something. Uh, no, not level 400 baseline. Maybe level 400 baseline after we give her the large experience potion. Anyways, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to go make the uh, the boss tribute thing. I probably should have done that off camera before I uh, came back. Oopsie daisy. But I want to see if we have all the th necessary things that we, uh, all the necessary materials to make the boss tribute. Because I think you need like one of each. Uh, thing was it consumables there we go we are missing okay three golden treats let's go grab three golden treats which we should still have over here one two three ba boom and let's go throw them into the on like a quick bench try and craft the boss tribute there we go you guys we've got it we just need to put it in the rarest thing in the universe chest or whatever that was called <laughs> rarest thing ever i think let's go try and knock around i don't i, I don't remember how much torpor how much torpor she do or how much torpor does she have 159,000. i forget how much our uh, drake does but as long as we stay in the sky stay in the air we should be able to at least try and knock around and try and you know tame her as well and i guess we might have to kill her little broodlings down there as well there's little Uranium minions, but uh, I, uh, let's see how much torpor she's got. I, I shrunk her a couple times. Oh my god, only 8,000. Yeah, we're gonna need to. Oh, jeez, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Jeez, we need to watch out. Where does she go? There she is, right there. Let's keep on blasting her with this torpor breath. This is probably our best bet. I don't know if there's any other way of knocking her out that might be better than this, you know? So, I guess I'm just gonna have to pause the recording. Keep on breathing fire on her. Uh, torpor fire. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. Also, speaking of knocking things out with our BH Drake, I did- Oh my god, we need to watch the heck out. <laughs> I did more research on the, uh, the, the, the giant squid, the Kraken, and, and you can't just knock it out. You need to do, like, a special uh, passive tame to it. I did mention you need to, like, feed it in its beak. And that's, like, the passive tame spot. Like, it's a special spot. You can't just, like, just feed it in its butt and you're good to go. <laughs> you have to, like, sneak up on it. Feed it in its beak. 50 black pearls at a time. Uh, is like the best, that's like the kibble for it, so that's why I'm, you know, kind of wanting to get some more black pearls. But, I guess we're going to need to like, actually tame a aquatic quit, a aquatic critter. Not aquatic quitter. <laughs> That'd be bad, I don't want a quitter on my hands, you know. But, uh, we're going to need to tame an aquatic quitter, a, a cr aquatic critter. That's pretty good, it does recommend taming a, uh, oh my god, there's some Megapithecus over there. Gold one. Taming a, uh, a high-level Carbonimus, so we might want to do that as well. Oh my god, she's going to fight that thing. Okay, if she kills it, and we get the juicy loot, then I'm not going to complain one bit, hey, do. But, uh, I, I think we're still pretty far away from her getting, uh, knocked out and whatnot. Let's see. I think the... Yeah, she's... Oh, she's up to, like, about 50,000. Torpor is dropping, though. We need to watch out, so... Anyways, I think that's all I wanted to say, so I'm going to pause the recording keep on trying to knock out the Broodmother. Probably try and knock out or kill... The Mega Mythic is over here as well. And I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. Are you guys back? It is almost knocked out. It is almost full on Torpor right now. It is at like 152 or so thousand out of 158,000 or something like that. And uh, oh, 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 there you go, there you go, there you go. Get off, get off. Let's go, go, go. Oh, there's a little snail fellow. Let's give her the. There it is, Boss Tribute. And uh, ba boom. Level 325, baseline hater, oh my god, that is great! Man, that is awesome, and she's got that really, oh, whoa, what is that? Why is this, oh, 
The uh, snail is kind of unconscious. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> oh, jeez, Titanoboa, Titanoboa, Titanoboa. No, 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 There you go. Ooh, why was the broom mother not doing anything? Uh, she probably was, to be quite honest. Oh, whoa, 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 Argy, Argy. Oh, wait, that's... Wait. Oh, my God, my stuff. Oh, man, my dragon coming over. Man, ugh. I guess I'm a little bit too close to my base. Some of my critters are flying over here to my rescue. I was about to say, like, an Argy's coming over here trying to murder me. <laughs> All my team rackets are kind of stuck in the thing now. All right, let's land our fellow right here. There you go. Now let's go back. Let's go. I guess I guess I have to go. Pause the recording. Land my dragon and all of them. What was up with our, uh, oh wow, our, our radio brood mother, our, our original purple one, purple and blue, is level 391, maxed out. This one is level 325, baseline. Like I said, I mean, we need to give her that uh, large experience potion. That's going to give her like a billion level ups, like immediately. So I can only imagine how many dank levels, how many danks, how much dank stats she's going to have in just mere moments. I also, by the way, uh, oh, jeez! See, every time, every time a minion gets killed, I always like freak out because I think it's like one of our actual like critters that just got murdered. But it was one of our minions. Nothing to worry about here. Anyways, let's check our stats and uh, try and compare them with the other brood mother that we have. And of course, hers will probably be uh, much better once she's actually maxed out. And I'm actually kind of stuck right now, so I might need to like ghost out of here or something. Or can, can I even? I can't even land. Okay, I actually need to get, okay, ghost, there we go, walk, there you go, <laughs> I was legitimately stuck. Okay, well, we need to land our poison drink, ba-boom, and we're probably not going to need them for the squid adventure, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to need to use a carbonimus, I suppose, and that'd probably be the best course of action for taming a giant squid fellow, and, uh, can I hop, I don't think I can hop over this wall, nope, can't do that, get, ah, uh, but I could, oh, park, oh man, I almost parkoured onto the roof and outside, that would have been really cool. Anyways, yeah, let me, I was about to say, like, should I ride my broodmother to the, uh, my old broodmother to the new one, or ride the new one over to the old one, but I guess I'll ride the uh, new one over to the old one. Six, oh my god, the turret killed that, man, that's pretty good range on that thing, I don't think I noticed that. Anyway, Satan over there, nothing. Alright, we should be able to just ride it without a saddle, ba boom, and, uh, our carry weight's 2730, okay, let's get a little bit closer, compare to these stats, even though it is a lower level, 391 compared to 325, let's see what uh, the stats are for our other brood mother. 390,000 health, 5800 uh, stamina. Uh, 3,300 carry weight, 477% melee damage, and 200% movement speed. What about you? Your movement speed's 100%. Melee damage is 425 baseline. Whoa, is that higher than the maxed out? Almost. 477 compared to 425? Carry weight was like 3,300 or something. She's got half a million health. 500,000 health compared to what? 390,000? Yep, 390,000 health there. BAR just got murdered. How much stamina? 5,800. And stamina for you is only 1,000. Wow. Yeah, we should definitely get that stamina up. Let's give her the large experience potion. And ba-boom, 84 more level ups right there, Ada. She's going to be higher level than the uh, than the other brood mother just right off the bat. Anyways, let's give her some more uh, stamina. Probably want to give her, you know, probably like four or 5,000. That sounds pretty good. 5,000 is a pretty good uh, threshold. I like that number. Uh, let's go with carry weight about, uh, about 5,000 as well. So we can carry a lot of black pearls on the way home. And, uh, stamina, blah, blah, blah. Probably do... Yeah, let's go up to, like, 500% uh, melee damage and then a little bit more movement speed. I think, uh, movement speed on the other room, mother was, like, 200% or something crazy. Don't think we're going to need that for this one. Uh, let's give her, like, 131.3%. Nice, and she is level 412 compared to the level 391 maxed out brood mother compared to the level 547 megapithecus over here compared to the level, uh, I forgot it's all the way up there, level 447... Wait, hold on. Man, she's she's pretty close to our uh, Dodo Rexy already. Our dragon's like level 3, yeah, 374. So that's really impressive. Anyways, oh yeah, I need to go get the uh, the black pearls off of... I should be able to just resource pull them, right? With a resource pull gun. Uh, oh yeah, I can't do that with the... I need to use the transfer gun, I think, right? I don't think I... Okay, whatever. How am I... Gonna transfer all those black pearls... I think it weighs like 180,000, or not, whoa, 180,000 pounds? No, 180 uh, pounds or something like that. Or, no, 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 yeah. 
We have 129 blank pearls, which is 258 pounds. I cannot move at all. I should, yeah, let's just go down there. Let's go right. It's just like right here anyways, right? No big deal, right? Man, look how huge she is compared to her Drake. And by boom, there's all the black pearls. Let's get back up here. And let's go kill that Megapithecus. The like 15 other brood mothers we just seen just kind of all over the place. Like <laughs> while we're kind of scouting around. Let's go kill all those. See if they drop a lot of black pearls as well as level up our brood mother in the process. So we're going to get two birds with one stone right here. And then, uh, I guess we're gonna hopefully have enough black pearls to tame that, uh, let's get rid of the, there you go, get rid of the resource polar thing. Hopefully I have enough black pearls too. What was I saying? Uh, tame the giant squid thing. Oh my god, that, <laughs> that brown wolf just went flying. Oh my god. Okay, let's kill all these terribles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh man, I thought one of them was like an alpha or something right there. It looked like it was like glowing or something crazy. What in the world was with that? Uh, dire wolf. That was a weird looking iron wolf right there, I'll tell you that much, sheesh. Alright, we just got like stung or something by a titanoba piece of garbage. Alright, well, let's go over to, uh, let's go, well, let's go kill the Megapithecus and the, uh, the Broodmother that's over here. I don't know if I showed it on camera, but there was like a second Broodmother over here in the middle of the swamp. Yeah, but there's the Megapithecus right there. I guess we could do the little sprinkler effect, try and do as much damage as possible. I think the Broodmother right here has even more health than our Megapithecus. Because I think our Megapithecus is like, like half mil or something like that. And this one's like baseline half mil. I didn't even level up her health like at all, but are we even taking it? Yeah, we are taking damage. The little health thing is like glowing. It's like blinking whenever we uh, get hit by this guy, but man, it's like not even noticeable amount of damage. I'll tell you that much. All right, well, oh yeah, we already have a level up. I literally do nothing, so we need to do that here in a bit. Let's, let's super fighting last the Megamythicus. See how much health he has. He's down to, oh man, he might even get knocked out before he gets killed. Sheesh. I want to come over there. Yeah. Yeah, we might want to come over here and, uh, kill it with, like, a proper critter, like our Dodorexy or someone else. Hmm. Wait, I can't see his stats anymore, I don't know why. Alright, well, let's get rid of the super spot. Oh, there it was, what, just rise right there for a second. Oh, it just show it right there for a second. Anyways, super spot, you can him now. We're not really even hit it. He's not even taking damage. What the? I need to be, like, really? Oh, oh there's the other brew mother. There's the other brew mother. Yeah, she's... That one took a little bit of damage right there. Oh, no, just took a little bit. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go get my daughter here or something else. As like, you know, I actually want to be able to kill it because this brood mother, even though it is a freshly tamed brood mother, high level attack, level 400 something, we can't kill those uh, bosses in a, in a super fast fashion. We're going to need to use a Dota Rexy with his like 50,000 damage fireball or whatever that crazy stuff was. So, yeah, she has one level up right now. We might as well do, uh, what should we do? More melee damage. More health. Yeah, we have we have insane amounts of health. I don't think we need to worry about that. Let's set her to neutral mode. Oh, whoa, what was that behavior? Whoa, they, like, what's that? Ooh, and it, oh, that's cool. They they organized us. Now it's not like a giant pizza slice of, like, random things. Now it's kind of a little bit organized. There's, like, these different folders and stuff. Anyways, set uh, target range, blah, blah, blah. Aggression to aggressive. Aggressive, aggression to neutral. Is she passive right now? No, she's to attacking target, so let's go to neutral. And let's go to passive. There you go. Alright, so now her aggressive level is passive. That's good. Probably should have done that for my lead time over on up there as well, but eh, I'll do that here in a bit. Let's get on our Dodorexy and let's go kill some bosses, shall we? Oh, I need to transfer the, uh... No, 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 no. I need to get the, uh, the black pearls off our room a little later. I can do that here in a bit, but there you go. Just burn all these haters. Alright, let's go back to you over there with the Mega Mythicus as well as the other brew mother that I talked about. And let's go try and kill them. And, uh, I think... This is the one that does like 50,000 damage, right? I think the fireball itself does like 6,000 or something, which is like nothing, but still way more than the, uh, than the brew mother we just tamed, right? Alright, well, I think I'm gonna go kill all these bosses and stuff. Let's just see if I can, you know, get some black pearls and whatnot, because we did see like two or three, uh, brew mothers. Of course, to make a pillion's. Uh, I might go around, see if I can find more Megapithecuses, maybe even a Drake or something, and kill him and see how many Black Pearls I can get, so I'll see you guys here in a bit. I guess I'm back, and I killed as many critters as I could. The Broodmother wasn't really that powerful. I, it, like, I decided to come back, get on my Dodorexy, you know, kill everything a lot easier with like the 50,000 damage per hit or whatever his little fire breath does, but I uh, killed the, killed like two or three Broodmothers, killed two Megapithecuses, as well as one Drake, because like, you know, after you killed the bosses, more bosses, bosses spawned over here we killed an icy drake and none of them 
dropped black pearls. You can see I have all the black pearls in my inventory right now. I think, uh, oh wow, you can actually see the, tr yeah, look at all the trophies I got, as well as I went through all the uh, loot they dropped. We got ourselves a new rare fabricated sniper rifle, 140 damage. I think our current one isn't common, so that's a good upgrade. Um, and I think that's basically it. We have, oh, three large experience, but that is great. I don't know if I want to use it on the, uh, the room mother though like i mentioned earlier we're going to need a carbonimus like a high level carbonimus so i might want to either tame a high level one give it a bunch of uh, large experience potions as well or go home see if our squirtle slash blastoise that we already have tamed see if that's pretty high level and see if we can you know use that for the upcoming mission anyways uh oh i did say i did see an alpha dire wolf or it, it might have been either alpha or prime alpha it was over here up this up this cliff let's go see if we can find it and pr probably try and tame it as well how much like meat and stuff uh 15 prime that might be enough depends on what level it is though but let's see uh that's that badger thing, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's not the, uh, the hog thing that we saw a little while ago. It was, like, bright, bright, bright red. It was, like, on this cliff, like, right here. Because I remember I was uh, trying to knock out the broodmother earlier, and I was like, coming up this cliff to regain stamina. And it might be... It might have fallen off the cliff, to be quite honest. Maybe it did. That's just a nice beaver. It was really, really, really bright red, though, so I'm pretty sure we would be able to see it pretty easily if it did fall down. Oh, is that it right there? That's just a baby person. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where it is then. Let's go back up that cliff. There's a Rudolph up there too. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing it over here. Oh, oh. Yep, that's definitely it. Yep. Fighting the uh, the RGs and stuff. How much more points I have? Fifty thousand, forty-nine thousand. To be more, uh, to be more honest, I guess you could say. Let's try to knock it out, though. I forget how much uh, torpor we do. We, we seemingly only do like about a thousand or so torpor per hit with the, uh, the, the the poison drake right here. Just judge by, you know, trying to wear down the broom of the that we gamed. Let's see how many hits it's going to take for this guy to get knocked out. He does have only fifty thousand, which is just a drop in a bucket compared to the two hundred or so thousand that we had to knock out the brood mother just moments ago. And this is what level was it? Like level one hundred or something? Yeah, one oh nine. Not the highest level thing in the universe. It's probably going to get a pretty good taming bonus. I forget what level our alpha is, but I'm confident it's like what level three hundred something. He must be getting pretty high on torpor. He is running away, or she? Oh, it's oh, if it's a she. Oh, and it's knocked out. If it's a she, I think it'll be able to mate, possibly, with our, uh, our other, uh, alpha. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get the prime meat off of you, as well as a little bit of extra meat, just in case we don't have enough prime meat, but let's give you the prime meat. There you go. Oh, look at that. The food is actually pretty low already. Ooh, glad I didn't try and use this as day of narcotic or anything like that. Okay, it's just nama down those, uh, oh my god, there we go. Level 160, nice, it got a, what was it, level 107, it got a uh, 53 level taming bonus right there. Respectable, not bad. Alright, well, let's, let's ride this. So one of the stats, uh, yeah, it, it could definitely carry me. Yeah, barely, just barely. It's 338 pounds with my 267. <laughs> I, forget, I forget that my nude butt, I got my butt and my taint all over this big old dire wolf. Oh, he's still jumping and stuff. Hold on, let's get the, uh, uh whistle at R. Come here, come here. Oh, oh, yeah, we have a radio right here we need to watch out for. But, uh, this one's like a really, really bright red. I want to go compare it, like, how bright the red is compared to our other alpha that we have. Because I'm pretty sure the other alpha was red, of course. But it was, like, a darker, it wasn't, like, as vibrant as this. Or maybe I'm just misremembering, I don't know. Let's go check. Maybe they're both the same. Uh, we got a baby T-Rex and, uh, some other critters kind of stuck back here. With Rhino. Oh, yeah, 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 look at that. It's like a, it's like a less vibrant red this is really cool too bad it's uh, so low level you know relative to the other critters of course <laughs> and it has five levels just by doing literally nothing and i guess it did get some levels from you know killing the early uranio let's give it a little bit more carry weight up to uh, 500 pounds there we have 473 and it's up to level 165 still just a fraction of what our other alpha die wolf is speaking of such let's make sure this is still the alpha i'm glad it was an alpha you know that way it's tameable because uh if it was a Prime Alpha, I guess either way it would have been good, because Prime Alphas usually drop, uh, usually drop Black Pearls, which we need, so if it was an Alpha, which it was, then we'd be able to tame it, but if it was a Prime Alpha, we'd be able to kill it and get some Black Pearls, so it was a win-win no matter what. Uh, I, I saw the, uh, the glowing eyes, I saw the, uh, the red, which usually indicates it's Prime Alpha or Alpha, and I was like, you know what, that's 
definitely something worth remembering right there. I'm glad that I remembered it. Anyways, where is our Drake? It is still flying all over the place, I think. <laughs> we need to tell, it to, to tell it to stop following us here in a second. It's still flying. Look at that thing. Where in the world is it? Oh, it, oh it's, it's set to follow the uh, the Drake or uh, the, the, the whatever it's called. Not me. There it is. Come down here, Drake. Speaking of Drake. <laughs> Let's try to go up the ladder. Can we go up there and tell him to follow us? On Twitter, at Wolfverse. Oh, 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 he's going to go land now. Where is he? No, he's still set to fall. What the? I told him to stop. Here, stop following it. There you go. Go land on the ground. And we need to go... I guess? Hold on. Let me look at Black Pearls. Black Pearl Arc. Is there a... Where, where do you get these? Is there a critter that drops these? Black Pearls are a resource in Arc Survival Evolved that can be obtained by harvesting dead death worms. Yuri Pterid, whatever that is. Ammonite. Two... The giant squids and alpha momosauruses. They can also be dropped as rare loot when catching fish with a fishing rod. Black pearls or blah 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 blah. Okay, well, I guess our best bet is just to go back to the area with our dragon, preferably, and uh, kill a bunch of uh, giant squid, and thus, you know, using said uh, giant squid drops, you know, black pearls to tame a giant squid. Hopefully, a higher level one, you know. If it's a low level one, we do have three large experience potions in our inventory, so we should be able to uh, tame it and get a you know really high level right after that. But uh, come on, what in the world are you doing? Drop down here, and of course we need to uh, once we do want to go tame one, once we can go tame one at least, if we have enough black pearls to do so, we need to get on a Carbonimus. And I did get some advice. Uh, I did read saying to like feed it a bunch of vegetable cake, you know, the sweet vegetable cake, which we're using in our school shirt series now. Uh, try and use that, and that gives you like a health boost as well. So uh, I guess you're going to be a little bit more uh, resilient against the squid that are you know attacking you, or at least trying to attack you. Come on, this Drake is just floating in midair. Usually it's not this bad, but come on, I need to pause recording and wait for it. Uh, I might just do that. I'm going to pause the recording, try and land the drake back over there, <laughs> get on our dragon, and I guess we can go back to the, uh, the trench over there and try and kill, like, a dozen more of those squid, uh, hopefully low-level ones, so we don't, you know, kill some high-level ones that we might want to actually tame, you know? <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that, wait for the, uh, the drake to land, get on our dragon, head back over there, and I will see you guys here in a bit, and we can hopefully go kill a bunch of, uh... Of, of, of low level giant squids. <laughs> Maybe hopefully even an alpha as well. I'll see you guys here in a bit though. He's still not landed. What are you doing? I guess back and check it out. We're here on SS Meme and I loaded it up with an insane Hey, no matter cook primey. Thanks to the uh, industrial grill back home at the wintery base. Transported over here via the dragon as well as all of our uh, black barrels and a little bit of narcotics. Now I am thinking we could probably go tame a, uh, not a mega. What's it called? A megalodon. <laughs> That's what it's called. We can probably tame a higher level megalodon. And the cool thing is, uh, part of the pun, but the cool thing is, but megalodons, they're one of the critters that can have BA versions of them. So I'm kind of excited to possibly, you know, find and maybe even tame a BA megalodon. But I'm mainly just looking for a high level megalodon in general. I do have one more uh, large experience potion from killing yet another. Uh, Broodmother, so that's really cool, I guess, but, uh, I came out here, rode Blastoise, tested his, uh, his damage output. Oh, oh, oh! That's kind of an awkward place to get a little bit of lag right when you see my butt crack. But, uh, he does 367 damage, which is still more than our Dungalosius over there. But, uh, about half what our Jaws does at, you know, one-third the level, 166 compared to 49. And, I, I'm thinking about getting Jaws' uh, saddle, getting on our SS meme, trying to tame another, uh, High level Megalodon, and then once we do tame one, uh, I'd have all that cooked meat right there. I should probably get some of the raw meat as well for the Megalodon. Uh, but but I, I could probably resource pull it actually, to be quite honest. Let's just pull all the raw prime meat. Uh, raw, raw prime meat. There it is right there. 362, that should be enough. Oh, not enough room, not enough room. Ha! Huh. Uh, raw prime meat, we should get maybe 162? That should be way more than enough. Yeah, there you go, 162. That should be way more than enough. We do have a, uh, our long neck rifle, epic long neck rifle, as well as some of the poison darts, and of course we have a bunch of the poison arrows, as well as, well as our crossbow, if you want to do some underwater action, but for right now, I'm thinking we can actually ride on the SS meme, kind of like old times, 
Try and aim down a Megalodon, try and get an Agrodonus, try and shoot it a bunch of times with a long neck rifle, load it up with some of the Trank arrows, uh, which I guess I have to load up some other way, right? Uh, get the long neck rifle, probably put up, put about right there, where the shoddy is right now. Load it up with the Trank arrows, ba-boom, and we should be good to go. Anyways, I guess we should start sailing the seven seas of Ark, survive the vault here on the center, see if we can find ourselves a... High level Megalodon or even a BA Megalodon. It's probably going to be kind of like the Spy Sources, where the BAs are kind of low level attack pieces of trash, while the regular ones will be, you know, high level. So we're probably going to, have to need to make a decision up here if we do find a BA one. If we want to get a low level BA, give it a bunch of uh, level up things that we do have, or if we want to try and get a high level regular one and try and give it some of the uh, some of the some of the level ups as well. Hmm. I'll probably do the, you know, tame a high level regular one, if we can even find them. They, they all, you know, seem to be pretty low level, but uh, let's go out about, uh, about between that island and that island. That's where we got our current Megalodon. See if we can go over there and see exactly how hard or how easy it is to tame a Megalodon these days. But uh, let's go over there. Hopefully we can find some Megalodons. Hopefully we can find some high level Megalodons and try and tame one. So I'm going to ride the SS meme all the way over there and... Wish me luck. Hopefully we could find a high-level Megalodon. <laughs> Brachiosaurus is still knocked out over there. Look at that, or Brachiosaurus is still knocked out over there. Jeez, it's been forever. That thing is not waking up anytime soon. I'll see you guys here in a second.